Yo, what's up, guys? Teacher Paul over here, and today we are traveling to drum rolls, Indonesia. Yesterday, I asked you, where should we travel to tomorrow on Travel Tuesdays? We had Poland, Indonesia, Philippines, Kazakhstan. We had 1.6 thousand votes, and you chose to go to Indonesia. So all I have to say is mantap. Hello, Samonia. Saya Teacher Paul dan hari ni kita akan menonton top 10 Indonesian places you should visit. And before we start, I don't know where you're watching from, so let me know in the comments down below. But just so that you feel welcome, I'm going to say hello to you in 37 languages. Just in case. I don't know where you're watching from. Let's go. Salam et be, hola, tudo bem, que tal? Bonjour, ça va, ciao a tutti, tutta posse, guten tag, moin moin, vi getsu, handet lekker, apakabar, indonesia, kamu sta, Filipinas, hallo, hallo, wa, salam, chesh, yak shemash, ane yo, daimingo, ni hao, chungo, doberdan, merhaba, marhaban, namaste, namaska, sradzui, se, pivet sem, ahoy, shalom, si a junapot. Sravo, sravo, it's so good. Sin chao, sao buona lumela. I messed up. Konnichiwa, peisha pa, buna, zveiki, perchende che barev tez. Hey and howdy, y'all. Boom. <laughs> I messed up so badly, but I hope you guys forgive me. This is live. Things happen. Okay, let's go over to the video, and this is it. 10 best places to visit in Indonesia. I have never been to Indonesia, but I hope that after the pandemic, I can go there because I've, I've watched so many good things and heard so many good things about there. Let's go. This is from Turopia. Ten best places to visit in Indonesia. Oh, they have a volcano there. With over 18,000 islands, Indonesia is the largest archipelago in the world. The island nation is home to 167 active volcanoes, Whoa. far more than any other country, and has some of the largest remaining tracts of tropical forest anywhere in the world. Wow. Indonesia Ooh. is both a leisure seeker's dream that is beautiful. and an adventurer's playground. Whether you're looking to bronze on beautiful beaches, hike in search is of that the orangutan, or snorkel among some of the most beautiful coral reefs on Earth, wow. this country has something for everyone. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Indonesia. I'm loving it already. I have lived for like three months next to a volcano, the Vesuvio. Raja Ampat Islands. Okay. Raja Ampat Islands. An island Islands. cluster on the northwestern tip wow. of Papua New Guinea. Raja Ampat is one of the most sensational diving destinations in Indonesia. Meaning four kings, Raja Ampat is made up of four major jungle clad islands surrounded by turquoise lagoons and palm fringed beaches. These look like those suites. You know those suites islands. Islands. that are like. The archipelago <laughs> is celebrated for its rich marine life nice. and underwater coral reefs. Wow, that's These beautiful. These islands are also home to spectacular beaches with shallow blue waters and fine white sand. Lagoons provide protection from the wind and a special place to relax in paradise. You can see right through the water, can't you? It's funny because all these little fishes, they, they bite you when you're <laughs> underwater. I guess. I've been to other beaches. And these <laughs> these fishes just nibble on your feet. You know that feeling when you're you're standing in a beach and then there's something underwater Number and you nine. don't know what it is. That is the scariest thing ever. 
You feel something on your feet and you Located start jumping around. Located at the north of the island of Sulawesi, Bunaken is one of Indonesia's most famous dive and snorkeling destinations. Wow. The island is part of the Bunaken Marine Park, where you can see more than 70% of all fish species that live in the Western Pacific. By and large, the diving spots are geared toward advanced divers with strong swimming skills. Okay. However, increasing in popularity is snorkeling in the shallower coral reefs closer oh. to the shoreline. I mean, underwater is beautiful. Let me see if this is 4K. No, it's not 4K, it's just eight full HD. But look at that. I've never gone diving myself. Not like this. I haven't ever Number done eight, snorkeling. Flores. Portuguese for flowers, Flores is undeniably Flores. an island of incredible scenic beauty. The most famous attraction in Flores is the Kelimutu Volcano Caldera, which has three lakes fed by volcanic gas that change color according to the amount of oxidation in the water. Wow. The three colored lakes are a must see from the top of the volcano at sunrise. The north coast has many offshore islands and coral reefs to explore with an exhilarating dive or snorkeling trip. I would never dive into a cave. Uh... Wow. These these huts, they look like um, the huts in Lesotho. If you've ever been to Lesotho or if you ever, you know, study a, studied there or whatever, you know that uh, Lesudu has th these iconic ha um, huts. Number seven, Toraja Land. Toraja Land. Tucked within the lush central islands of southern Sulawesi, Taraja Land is a region that's dotted with rice fields, wow. limestone peaks, so and blue, so green. Hills. Home to the Taraja, an animist people, Tana Taraja has wow. a fascinating culture that's remained largely independent from Western influence. Tarajans are famous for their massive peaked roof houses and spectacular but gruesome funeral rites. After a person's death, the body is kept for several years until the actual funeral ceremony, which can last for several days. The deceased is then finally buried in a small cave or in a hollow tree. Wait! What about decomposition? Several years? They keep the body? How? Why? Oh wait, I have heard about this. There are some places that they leave the body in the living room as a wake for a few months. Yeah, one of my students told me about this. I'm so intrigued that the houses look like six, canoes, Lake you know. Toba. Lake Toba. Lake Toba on the island of Sumatra is an immense volcanic lake about 100 kilometers long and 30 kilometers wide. Formed by a gigantic volcanic eruption some 70,000 years ago, it is the largest resurgent caldera on Earth. Samosir Island in the middle is the largest island within an island and contains two lakes. Besides visiting a lake on an island within a lake on an island, tourists also come here to kick back and relax and That's a little too meta for me. <laughs> waters. It's an island within an island. Look at the fields. Would you guys like to go to Indonesia? Let me know in the comments. Wow. 
I love greens. Number five, Mount Bromo. Okay, Mount Bromo. Mount Bromo is an active volcano and part of the Tenjer Massif in East Java. At 2,329 meters, wow. it is not the highest peak of the massif, but is the most well known. The area is one of the most visited tourist attractions in Java. The top of the volcano has been blown off, and the crater inside constantly belches white smoke. It wow. is surrounded by the sea of sand, of fine volcanic sand. The overall effect is unsettlingly unearthly. Wow. You can actually go... Ah, uh, There are people there on top. What about the gases? Aren't... I mean, isn't that deadly or anything? And to get up there? Did you see those stairs? Man. You gotta have legs to go up there. And stamina. Very strong legs. Number four, Lombok. Lombok. An increasingly popular alternative to overly commercial Bali, Lombok and its offshore coral-rigged Gili Islands are tropical paradises. Here you can enjoy all the appeal of Bali before tourism took over. Surfing hotspots, uncrowded beaches, and magical waterfalls tucked away within steamy jungles. Backpackers head to Lombok in search of adventure. This is likely because its volcano-topped jungle provides for a great trek surrounded by unforgettable scenery. Okay. If you're planning on hiking the Rinjani volcano and its photogenic crater lake, make sure you're fit and have booked with a reputable guide. It's <laughs> by no means a walk in the park. I know, I can imagine. I would, I would definitely not take this tour. I don't have the stamina for that. Many people have been, you know, telling me you should go to Bali. And I have a friend who is in Bali. But right now, it's been like two years since I haven't traveled, you know, with, with the way the world is today. Now we only travel digitally <laughs> and virtually, you know. It doesn't look very sunny though. I would, I would imagine it's hot, but okay, now it looks sunny. I think it might be the season. Number three. But I wonder Komodo if it's hot National all year Park. round. Komodo National Park. Located near Flores, Komodo National Park is famous for one thing and one thing only. Wow, there's it's someone on top of the namesake, the Komodo Dragon. Spread across three main islands, the park provides a sanctuary for this strange looking creature, reminiscent of the dinosaurs. It's oh. the largest living lizard on the planet and can reach a mighty three meters in length. Wow! The reptiles roam freely over the islands, and visitors rely on experienced tour guides for sightings and to keep them safe. Yeah. But you'll also spot wild horses, water buffalo, and long-tailed macaques here. Offshore, macaques. the park encompasses some of the richest marine habitats in the world, with a kaleidoscope of sponges, crustaceans, and bony fish. Whoa, look at there. Look at that. Can you imagine if one of these just start charging at you? But it is a fascinating creature. Look at that tongue. You know, they didn't show anything of the capital though. Do people only go to Indonesia for 
the nature. Because I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And it's kind of like a metropolis, so... Yogyakarta is a bustling town of there are a few things to see, but, people, you know. And the most popular tourist destination on oh, Dala, there we due go. to its proximity to the famous temples of Borobudur and Prambanan. Okay. The city itself is a center of education and culture, particularly okay. for Javanese fine arts, and has a wide range of tourist facilities. Yogyakarta lies in one of the most seismically active parts of Java, okay. and has thus repeatedly been struck by earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Wow. In 2006... That is a nice building. Very unique. Wow, look at that. This is what I was about to talk about, you know, about, you know, learning, um, you know, education and culture, not only landscapes, but, you know. An earthquake flattened over 300,000 houses. Wow. While in 2010, the nearby volcano of Mount Merapi erupted, spewing lava over nearby villages. Wow. But seriously, look at these temples. Look at that. That is very unique. I don't think I've ever seen something close to that. I've seen something similar to this, but not quite, not quite. Kind of looks like an Indian arch architectural design or something. They look like bells. Yeah, you see, I think they have Indian um, influences. I don't know, I might be just imagining things. Number one. Number one. Bali. Bali. Okay, I've heard so much. One of the most visited and dreamed of destinations on the modern traveler bucket list, Bali is a kaleidoscope of beautiful beaches, volcanic hills, lush rice paddies, and thousands upon thousands of <laughs> lush Bali's rice temples. paddies. It's celebrated for its laid-back atmosphere that's attracted backpackers, surfers, and yogis for years who yogis. have come in search of finding their zen in this tropical paradise. Nicknamed the Island of the Gods, Bali is deeply rooted in the spiritual, with endless Hindu temples boasting mm. colorful architecture all of their own, particularly in Ubud, Bali's spiritual capital. Okay, so these are Hindu temples, so that's why I, I got the the impression that it had Indian influences. Oh, look at that waterfall. That is intriguing. A lot of layers. That is, this resembles Chinese architecture now. And also you can see these um, dresses over here. That is quite Chinese. This looks Chinese. I honestly feel like swimming now. <laughs> Turopia. Okay. The original video will be linked in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this virtual tour that we took to Indonesia. And if there is any place that you guys want me to travel to next week, let me know in the comments. I will put a poll up and we can vote to see where we should go next time. Or if you guys still want to go to Indonesia, but a different city like Jakarta, let me know also in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Terima kasih Indonesia. Um, I have an Indonesian playlist here on the channel, so you can check that out. I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Keep it real. Take care now. Bye-bye.